with looking and discussing strategies to help us have more kavona in our davening. And we've spoken about various meditations, etc. Here's another one for you. The, the Shulchan Aruch says in Simon Sadi Gimel that uh, halacha um, base and Gimel, the person should daven mitoch simcha. He should do something which gives him simcha beforehand. That's the structure of davening. For example, we have words of Torah which are thrown there. And we've got Pesukim, like Ashri, we do before Mincha, and Pesuka de Zimra, all words of comfort of Torah to put us in a joyous frame of mind before we daven. And also the Shulchan Aruch says that even when a person learns before davening, he shouldn't learn things which are going to be too complex and detailed, that he what he's going to be thinking about in his davening is his Torah, because his mind's going to move all bow. It's all going to be too much noise and distraction in his mind. Rather, he should learn something where there's a conclusion, like a halacha, where there's a conclusion. But we see from here that a person shouldn't do things that cause a lot of noise and distraction in his mind. And the Chavetz Chaim writes, he says, especially nowadays, he wrote this over 100 years ago, when we don't have so much kavana in our tefillah, how much more so we shouldn't be busy ourselves with pilpul and things like that, uh, with the londus and the intricate details of, of Talmudic debate and study, which will just cause a person to have further distractions mm-hmm. to fill her rather than, than enhance his kavana. So that's about in learning. But the Mishra says a person should look to do things through simcha. And he says Torah is one of them. But then the Mechaba says a beautiful thing. Somebody who does something for the community is ka'oisik b'torah domi. It's considered as if he learns Torah. In this regard, as far as just like the halacha, we should get up to daven b'simcha, and Torah gives that person that mindset of joy. Similarly, doing something for the community can put a person in that right, joyous frame of mind before he davens. And she gamzu simchi loy. She also b'sarichit zivur. This is also great joy for him for such a concept to give him such joy. And there's many things we can do for the tzibur. The Arizal says there's a custom to give sadaka before we start davening. There's different places we can give sadaqah during davening, but one of them, Marisa says, before we start davening, we should give sadaqah. We've done something for the community. Another thing is, tidy up the shul. There's dirty cups and tissues around. Hopefully not. But if there happens to be, pick them up and put them away. If there's sadurim and sfarim books left around, tidy up the shul, make sure the chairs are all tucked in for people there. If things got moved around, make sure it's respectful, the palace of the king for everybody else when they come to Daven. These are things we can do. And a good friend of mine told me he once saw somebody in shul had, he noticed, had a roll of sellotape in his talus bag. At the end of Davening, he saw that he pulled out this sellotape and he was he, he, he stuck down a torn page in the sitter which he found in the shul. And my friend decided he's going to do that as well. What great preparation. We get to shul and see there's a sitter which is torn or a chumash during the week so we can stick that page just a small deed that we can keep and you never know just like my friend told was inspired just because he saw that other fellow do it i've told this story to others and they've also taken it on so that can be an inspiration so being doing something for your community beforehand and of course avoiding distractions so avoid having phone calls before whether it's shacharis or mar if mincha is difficult in the middle of the day but before shacharis for Marev to be busy with our phones is just a distraction, makes a person vulnerable. Of course, if the phone calls about the community and Sarchit Zibur is for the community, that can help. But again, Mishmuro says try and avoid it if it's going to make your mind confused and distract you from Tefillah. And Rav Talba, Rav Israel Talba, Zeicha Sadiv Rocha, I heard him mention many times, says when a person, if you're walking to Shul, and you want to listen to a shir or something that's good, but if you're driving to shul, don't put on the radio before Daphne. If you want to hear the news, pull it on afterwards. Beforehand, try and keep your mind pure and empty so you can keep focused and serve Hashem Basimcha, Daphne Basimcha. Have a great day.